These windmills are so lightweight. This is a 12 foot windmill. I can actually pick it up with one arm. In today's video, we will be assembling this 12 foot windmill from Winger Sales. This is an easy to follow step-by-step -step instructional video. I hope you enjoy it. So the windmill shows up in two separate boxes like this. I'm gonna open these two up, get everything sorted into nice organized stacks. Taking the time to do this will make your assembly process very quick and efficient. So we have cross braces and X braces, difference between the two. X braces have slots on one end, cross braces have holes on both ends. Cross braces go horizontally, X braces go in the shape of an X. The rest of your parts should look something like this. Only tools you need, three quarter inch wrench, Phillips screwdriver, something with an eight millimeter end, and a grease gun. Starting with a four square leg piece, you're gonna find the ends that have these yellow nut inserts in them. Face them all upwards, come down to the middle, grab yourself a leg connector, insert it into the leg, fasten it with a one inch bolt. Grab the bottom half of the leg, Insert it on the connector, fasten it with a one inch bolt. Should look something like that. Once all four legs have been connected, go ahead and tighten these bolts up right away. Then head to the top of your legs, where we had the tower top. Line up a nut turret with a hole, fasten it with a three quarter inch bolt. And these only go in about halfway for now. We do that for all four legs. So we have two key points here. Tower top bolts are only halfway in, and everything on this tower is hand tight only until it's fully assembled. So there's two ways to add these step plates. You can use a ladder if you'd like to, or you can lay the windmill on the ground, assemble it from the ground. I've decided to use a ladder. Both options work just fine. Doesn't matter what hole you start with. A step plate with two bends, one and a half inch bolt goes through the step plate and then through the hole of the smallest X brace. And the X braces, the slot is always gonna be hanging down. And we go through the windmill and we add a knot on the back side. Same thing on this hole and then the opposite side as well. And remember to always insert your bolt towards the windmill. That way your nuts are on the inside of the legs. After these two step plates, next step, very easy. One and a half inch bolt through the hole of the smallest X brace through the windmill, adding a knot on the back side. Same thing on this hole, and then the opposite side as well. So we have four crossbars on this one. The assembly process is exactly the same for all four. I already did the first two, so you can see what it looks like. Now I'm gonna do this one, and then you have one more row to go. But it's one and a half inch bolt through the smallest crossbar that you have, through the hole of the smallest X brace that you have left, through the X brace that is hanging there, through the windmill, adding a knot on the back side. Do the same thing on that hole, and then the other three sides as well. And once you're done, it should look something like this. It feels like we're moving along very quickly. I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below how things are going for you. Now let's head back up top. Now before you finish the step plates, if you wanna make things a little bit easier on yourself, you can tighten up these two bolts first. No big deal, but you go half inch bolt through the hole of the step plate with one bend, through the hole of the step plate that's already there, and you add a nut on the bottom. Same thing on this hole, and then the opposite side as well. Now it's time to get some things tightened down. First thing you wanna do is get this tower top straight up and down. You can use a level if you need to. I'm just gonna eyeball it, checking it from both directions. Once it looks good to me, and you get these screws tightened down. And you wanna get these pretty snug because they can work loose over time. Impact time. And the cool thing about aluminum is it acts as a self-locking nut. You don't need anything on the inside holding these nuts. You just hold it gently until it's up against the frame, and it holds itself. Very quick and easy. Just go through and tighten up all the nuts that you see. Now before we add the fan up top, I'm gonna install these anchors and we do that just by laying it on the side. And these anchors easily slide inside of the leg. You just line up a hole, one and a half inch bolt, nut on the inside. You do that on all four legs. The tower is now complete. All we have left is the fan, which is very simple. To attach the tail to the axle, this insert is gonna be facing down. So you want the winger sales decal to be facing up like that. Now before you set this on the tower, it's a good idea to add a little dab of grease to this pin here for a little extra protection. This is just a one-time deal, and you don't have to add grease to this pin every year like you do this insert, which we'll get to next. So to add the fan, you just remove this nut on the end, and there's two ways to get the fan on correctly. One of them, there's a sticker on the inside of the wheel with an arrow that says slide on. The arrow's gonna be pointing towards the fan tail. You just slide it on, and the other way is to have the inside of these creases facing up or facing out. You just reapply this nut, grab your three-quarter inch wrench, you don't want to get the nut too tight because the fan needs to be able to spin freely. It only takes about a twist or two, something like so. Beautiful. This next step is what gives your windmill its long life, adding grease to this insert here. If you don't add grease, you're going to need to replace the bearings every five years or so. If you keep grease in here, it'll last you a lifetime. Doesn't take much at all, three to five pumps for the first time after that maybe about a pump a year to keep it maintained. Once the grease is in there, this little hubcap just slides over top like so. 
And a nice little secret when removing this mask and cover, once you get one off, you can use that one to get the others off. And here's a fun fact about wind. The highest wind speed ever recorded was 254 miles an hour. Pretty cool, right? So I have two things here. If you happen to find an air bubble in any of the decals, poke it with a knife or a pin, smooth it over with your thumb, it'll take care of it. And two, every windmill comes in red or green. If you get the green one, you get a roll of yellow tape. You can use it to add a strip of yellow to every blade, along with the fantail as well. I did two of them so you can see what it looks like. There's really no wrong way to do it. They generally recommend being about a quarter inch in from the end, but it's however you like it. Luckily, these windmills are very lightweight, so it's very easy to set them upright once it's fully assembled and move it around. So once you've decided where you want your windmill, dig four holes 12 to 15 inches deep, setting the anchors inside the hole. And it's a good idea to use a level on the bottom row of crossbars. The closer you can get your windmill to being level, the better it will perform. And the final step is filling the holes back up with dirt. Your windmill will now be anchored in place. And in case you don't have one already and you would like to add one to your landscaping, you can find these at Wingard Sales located in Shipshawanda, Indiana. They have four foot decorative windmills all the way up to fully operational 30 foot windmills, meaning they can aerate your pond and look good doing it. They also have some very nice patented swinging mailboxes. Both the windmills and the mailboxes are made of 100% aluminum and stainless steel, designed to last a lifetime. Winger Sales currently has windmills that have been installed and operating for 30 plus years, so they really do last a very long time. If you would like to have any of these items shipped to your front door, you can order them online at wingersales.com. I'll put a link in the description to make that nice and easy for you. And with that, today's video has been completed. I hope you enjoyed it.